So, I'm here with uh, Mark Skinner after a, a nice 2 1 win against Collierswood. Mark, midweek game, nice to see you turn up. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Wednesday night was work. I literally couldn't get out of work. I was miles away in London. Couldn't make it at all, but I know the people there Donny, Stixie, Darren, they're incapable hands, that team are. Exactly. Um, tonight, it was all important that we backed up Wednesday. Uh, two games in three days is never easy. No. Obviously, Darren rested a lot of players for the Cove game, yeah. brought most of them back tonight. Yeah. But there were some concerns before the game, attitudes didn't seem quite spot on. Yeah, it's that typical Friday night game, people are rushing from work, um, trying to, especially on the A3, <laughs> where their ground is, Collingswood's ground is, where you either park on the other side of the bridge or you have to go all the way round to Robin Hood roundabout and try and get round here again, and it's not the biggest car park in the world, but players got here in the end. Um, one of our starters was late. Um, we had to completely change the team. Uh, Warm-up wasn't at its best, but you can see it was sluggish. 20, 25 minutes we were sluggish. We didn't look like we were coming out of the traps. We were still in the change room a little bit, but as soon as we got that goal, we got our momentum going and we, what we're capable of, of doing. Yeah, the goal was a strange one, really. Um, obviously, Acer won a challenge in the middle of the park. Mm -hmm. Ball's dropped down to Matty O'Leary. Everybody seemed to stop, um, and he's just lashed it goalwards. Yeah, I think I think everyone was waiting for the ref to blow the whistle, but he played to the whistle, didn't he? So, literally, and Matty O'Leary's brought it down as you see it first time. It's gone to the bottom corner. So, good goal. And with Matt, he's um, he's certainly a lad who's improving over the last few weeks, and he's he's now showing a form that he showed last year. Yeah, yeah, he's. he's um, Start of the season, he didn't have the best of luck and trying to get the best out of Matty. He's, you keep talking to him, there's no point shouting at a player like Matt. He's, um, he's a young kid and he's got bundles and bundles of talent and, and now we're seeing the Matt letter we saw last year when I was sitting in the stands having to watch. He's fantastic, such a great player. Um, tonight, he, he gave the fullback nightmares tonight. He chased, he hassled. He twists, he turns. He, I wouldn't want to play against him because I know what I'll do to him in all honesty. But yeah, great player, that is. And uh, a deserved man of the match tonight, definitely. Definitely, definitely. He worked his socks off tonight. Um, yeah, he deserves it in all honesty. Um, we said obviously the warm up and that wasn't the greatest, but mm. there were some, some good performances out there tonight. Um, the two yeah. centre halves again did very well. Um, I think hardly lost a header which is good to see yeah. Matt Tanton is turning into the Matt Tanton we thought he was not yeah. the imposter that turned up at the start of the season <laughs> yeah. um, and Daryl he's always a handful needs to keep his head on a little bit but he's a pain to play against yeah, I wouldn't take that out of his game at all he's uh, he's that old cliche he's a pain in the arse <laughs> when he plays up top he is he, he hustles he chases everything he'll wind up he'll wind you up um, but he scores goals. He scores goals. He, like you can see tonight, he put the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, two centre backs, uh, Hastings and Davis. Fantastic. I keep saying fantastic, and people keep moaning at me. I'm saying fantastic too that much. That does seem to be your word of the day. It does. Um, but yeah, they were brilliant tonight. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, comfortable. Defensively, we look really, really solid this season. Um, uh, these teams want to come break us down. Go for it. Yeah, it's good. It is good. Um, there's, there's other places we look at though, we look strong, I mean, yeah. the middle of the park, um, I know Faz is disappointed with how he played today, but he's got that energy in his game, hasn't he? So even if he's having a bad game with the ball at his feet, yeah. he'll still snap in at tackles and he'll still yeah, put definitely. himself about a bit. Yeah. And then you look at Ferdy who does the same thing, tremendous delivery for the winning goal. Yeah. Um, so we look strong, we do look strong at the moment. We do. We, um, well we've won six in a row now so it's that momentum and it clicks in people's heads like it keeps them going as well right let's go for number seven let's go for number eight and that's what gives them that little kick up the backside and think do you know what yeah and it steps up their tempo and that's what we want and like I said tonight Friday night it's always going to be a pain but they went and done their jobs tonight which we asked them to do some of the performances could have been a little bit better from the start but they all shift. They all put a shift in tonight, and I can't fault them at all. The only disappointing thing now, really, is that we've got sort of eight days until the next game. Um, yeah. Chertsey next Saturday at home, which again would be another tough test. They've, it will be, yeah. they've made a, a fairly decent start this year. Yeah, they have. Yeah. Um, 
but I guess we'll be looking at getting some of the injured players fit again. Um, obviously yeah. Nelson's out at the moment, Rocky Raw's out, JT's going to be out long term. But we can get those players back, they can all start pushing for another for a spot on the bench and then we, we just keep building that strength in the squad. Yeah, it all starts at training. It all starts at training, everyone turns up, we put the shift in at training and get these people to put their hands up for selection and make a name for themselves. Excellent, thank you very much Mark. No problem, cheers Gary.